all right what is going on welcome to the channel all right so in this video we're going to put fsd beta to the test and we're going to run some real life scenarios here with 11.4.9 uh starting with um here we're at the traffic light looking to make a left onto route 50 so that's kind of a bustling highway we're going to see how fsd does getting on to the exit handling the exit and merging us onto the highway um this is kind of like a controversial topic some people are comfortable with the way it does it some people are not so comfortable with the way it does it so take a look be the judge for yourself let me know what you think comment below here we go with the green light so let's take a look on how we do all right so starting with this left turn immediately asked me for some input with the steering wheel nag trajectory looking good may need to have to merge into one lane over here let's see how it does that usually does a pretty good job about detecting where the lane ends here you see that and it, it centered itself all right so it changed the speed limit to 55 which is what we want Right. And I like to speed up a little bit sometimes, so I put it up to like 70 so I can kind of get a, a little pickup. Automatically, here we go with the indicator, so this is how it decides to merge. Kind of waited for it to be like even space between the cars, which I'm not mad at. Did a pretty good job there. Alright, so we are going to be taking Route 50 straight into Washington, D.C. We're here in uh, Maryland just outside of DC, Silver Spring area. So yeah, it did a really good job about getting me onto the highway. Here I am officially speeding on the highway. Not too much though, of course. We're gonna lock us in at 65, kind of maintaining the traffic speed going on over here. But all in all, this is like one of the most important things FSD needs to be able to conquer and notice how it decides to get into the left lane to stay into the passing lane um, because I do have it on assertive mode so you can see here it's on assertive mode um, which when it's in assertive mode what it decides to do is keep the shortest distance between the car and always select the passing lane whenever it gets a chance whenever it thinks that that is the quickest way but it tries to keep in mind your directions as well too so you know sometimes it's not the best at that it may get in the passing lane you got a right turn coming up that's one of the biggest feedbacks that i i, I want to give with assertive mode because it loves getting in the passing lane but i think if we're like under one and a half miles to our next turn like you see right here i've got four miles to my next turn if it's like under one and a half miles then i think should relax and just stay in the lane that it's in and start to get over for um, in this case like a right turn because it always goes left so that's one of the biggest feedbacks that I have because sometimes it'll wait till there's like 0.3 miles left and then get into the right lane and it's like comfortably like if you know when you drive you like to get into that lane like a few moments before it's like last second you don't have to like cut people off and merge over so fsd needs to work on that a little bit it does a pretty good job about like putting yourself in the right lane so that like when you turn and it knows you have a right turn coming up ahead it will try to put you in that far you know right lane so that you can make the next turn but when it's on the highway and you're taking exit it's it, now it's a little shifty there so I would like to see it improve a little bit all right now we're in the left lane we're gonna try to speed up a little bit so we don't get cut off um, and of course we've got assertive mode on so it's gonna kind of keep us in the left lane but look people are driving pretty aggressively already and uh, looks like they got assertive mode on too but yeah all in all really good job about handling the highway I mean when it comes to traffic it's like I don't even know how I drove without this but when it comes to traffic it's it's really handy especially stop and go I mean it just does it for you it takes away from um, you know a lot of distractions too so having this you know on your commute I think is a, is a huge advantage uh, it's kind of a road hack so to say um, one other 
another thing too I noticed getting into other people's cars and ICE vehicles is um, the maps. Uh, you know, have this big satellite imagery like right in your face and when you see something on the road and you want to kind of glance over to see like, oh, what is that? Like having that ability is, you know, almost magic if you say like compared to like, you know, the 90s when we were pulling out maps and stuff. But, you know, as long as I can remember people were using some sort of bird's eye view but to have it like right there um, and to be able to kind of you know we have that on our phone and everything but the way Tesla integrates it into everything it's just very seamless and I think it's kind of a little underappreciated I still hear people scream Apple Maps Google Maps Waze whatnot because I don't know if they integrate this with Google Maps or not I think they do have some kind of data feed but I swear I don't even touch my phone navigation like ever since I got this car like I stopped using any kind of map situation other than Tesla maps all right really cool we got the train going right above us really cool sometimes I feel like FSD is like a train ride <laughs> you just sit there and just be the conductor all right, so here we go. We are taking the Kennelsworth Avenue exit straight into DC. I'm actually looking to cut through into getting into Arlington. Let's see how we do with this tow truck. Looks like we are gonna go ahead and cut him off and then get into this exit. And this is an extremely sharp exit. So hang tight, buckle up, and let's see how FSD handles this because wow, this is a really sharp exit. And uh, it's kind of a fun one too. We got a yield at the end of it. So let's see how we do here. Not a bad job, even though we had a, a truck coming over there. Still handled it really well. Look at this merge job. Not bad, not bad at all. All right. All in all, I have to say FSD definitely doing its thing. Um, it's 2024. I think if you're driving a Tesla, do yourself a favor and uh, subscribe to FSD for a month and take a look at what it's like. Um, I try to make the argument for people that don't have as much patience for FSD to look into enhanced autopilot because with um, Navigate on autopilot, um, it does basically your entire drive for you. It gets on and off the highways. It will change lanes for you. Um, but the only thing it doesn't do is like make right and left at stop signs. But what I noticed is people that don't have like the patience for FSD don't even use it in those situations. Like FSD creeps up at stop signs. It takes its time. And if you don't have the patience, you're gonna just cut it off and do it yourself. Um, so I find that Enhanced Autopilot can be very useful for most people in their commute situation. Now, can you subscribe to Enhanced Autopilot? I don't think so. I think it's just a flat $6,000 fee. But you can subscribe to FSD where you then get all the you know components with everything Enhanced Autopilot offers in FSD all in one. But I try to make that argument because I know FSD is not for everyone. Like, you gotta have a level of patience to handle this because with the new cabin camera sensitivity and like everything, like if you're just not, you know, patient enough, you're gonna get strikes and you're just gonna say F this, like I don't wanna use this anymore. Um, and so enhanced autopilot may be for you. Um, can still get strikes on that too but i just think for like the way that it functions you're gonna find most people using it um pretty much like on roads like this like the entire drive that you pretty much just watched in this video would have been handled on enhanced autopilot except the very first left turn i would have had to make that left turn and then engaged it and it would have done the rest because the rest was highway so yeah, um, hopefully you guys learned something about FSD and autopilot and kind of make a better judgment if you do decide to purchase a Tesla or enhance autopilot or FSD. Hopefully I, I tried to provide you with the best knowledge that I use as experience. Um, 
that I've had uh, using it in real life situations. So hopefully, um, let me know what you think. I got my link below too for referral bonus. Make sure um, you check that out, as well as uh, a lot of sponsored links below to take a look. EV Base um, and a few other ones. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.